He has the most goals in Dynamo history and is a leader both on and off the field. Championships to Houston. But for every great athlete, there reaches a point where it all must end. This season will be the last for Brian. I think a lot of us, uh, pretty much everyone, knew that, that this was going to be my last year and. Um, you know, I, I really feel lucky to have uh, been a part of this organization and uh, part of this ownership group, and, and, and I'm truly blessed that uh, we landed here in Houston in 2006. Uh, it, it couldn't have been a better, I guess, chain of events that, that happened for us and, and the city and, and for soccer in Houston. You know, I think uh, one of my biggest thanks has to go to Dom. Uh, <laughs> he gave me the ultimate compliment uh, the other day, saying that he wished he was able to play with me, and uh, that was probably one of the biggest compliments I've ever received in my life. And if it wasn't for him, uh, obviously wouldn't have had the chance to to be here today, sitting in front of you guys. And he said it was the highest compliment um, when I said I, you know, wish I would have been his teammate. Just for the record, he's, he never re never responded in kind and said the other way around. So he probably knew it wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, for me, it goes a little bit back farther than the Dynamo days, and Andy will know this. Um, Open Cup game, I think it was 2002, Brian? Yeah. 2002 Open Cup game, Seattle Sounders versus San Jose Earthquakes. Um, and was the first time we really got a good look at Brian Ching. Uh, did you score a hat trick that night? scored a goal or two, um, and we felt that Eddie Robinson at the time was probably the most physical and dominating center back uh, in MLS, and, and no offense to Eddie, I thought Brian uh, gave him a good little run around and a good little throw down every once in a while. It was one of the, it was one of the best physical matchups I've seen uh, in, in a soccer match, and after the game, the one thing we spoke about, luckily we went through uh, to the next round, one thing we spoke about was how can we get this guy to come and play for us, and I think about that day and about the next time we flew you in for a little mini camp, flew in from Hawaii, and we thought we need to get this guy on our team. Um, didn't really know him at the time, but obviously as you get to know him, you know there's, there's a, a there's a couple words you can say about Brian. I think he's a winner, he's a competitor, uh, he's he's a fighter, he's he's honest, and I think that's the reason why we're here today. There's a ton of respect that goes around the room. Look at the cameras. I mean, it's almost like we're signing a, a huge DP here. Um, but sadly, we're, we're letting the DP go. Um, and, and on the sad side of it, as we all know, you know, I have three young kids who adore this team, and their hearts will be broken uh, knowing that Brian will be playing after this year. Uh, I've been so lucky to have been around Brian all these years. We've had, our, uh, we've had our meetings. We've had some good times, some bad times. But I think the reason why we're sitting here is because the good times far outweigh the bad times. Um, you talk about a big goal, you talk about Brian Ching. You talk about a moment in Dynamo history, you talk about Brian Ching. You talk about a guy lifting a trophy or helping lift a trophy, you talk about Brian Ching. So there's other people along the way that have you know, heavily contributed to the success of this club. At the forefront has always been Brian. You know, I remember in 2004 when I became the head coach and I brought John Doyle was, was a great friend of mine. And... Uh, he was a center back, and he, at first he was always like, what's this Brian Chang guy all, all about? You know, I said, I go, telling you, John, just watch him, and you're going to end up really enjoying him. You know, so, and then as we do with our assistants, every once in a while they play in the games when we have a man down. So John will play her once in a while, and after about two months, and he said, I, I, get, I get what you mean. He goes, I wish he, he even said, he goes, I, I wish I would have played with him because he's always trying to help you. And it's the truth. I mean, you know, I said a lot of things there. I mean, you know, you look at the goals that he scored over the years, leading the line defensively and he was one of the, one of the best team defenders uh, in the league in my opinion you know so it wasn't all about goals and assists and doing this he did a lot of stuff that I, th I don't think went unnoticed well not unnoticed by us but maybe went unnoticed by some others um, goals you know he scored a goal against DC to get us into the playoffs it was a beautiful bicycle kick that we saw just a while ago um, you know so it's, it's one of those he, I, th I don't know if he really stepped in the field saying you know give it to me I want it but I think he always came through 
you know, and I think it's one of those guys. That, and knowing him as I do, we go on team walks every every road trip, and usually him, Brian, and I are the, are the two that lead the uh, lead the walk. And we don't really talk about soccer too much. We kind of talk about everything, you know. So uh, knowing him as I do, that's why I said it. I go. I would love to have been his teammate because you want to surround yourself. You want, I've been in a lot of locker rooms, and sometimes locker rooms are infested with poison, and sometimes locker rooms aren't are, are have it has joy, you know, and, and and sanity. And I think that's the reason why I said that. It wasn't anything to try and impress upon uh, my affection for him or my adoration of him because I think he knows what I think about him. But I think about just the overall concept of having a good locker room and how it affects the team um, and having a leader involved in that. And he's and he's the one I would definitely want in my locker room. Didn't think I was going to get that emotional, um, you know, coming here today. But uh, w when somebody you respect and, and you look up to um, says those things about you, you know you're doing something right. And, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs>